Hello, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, we're talking about apathetic people. For those of you all who are not familiar with this channel, welcome. Please do like, subscribe, comment if you have received value. I am Nicole, and the channel is NM Enterprise 7. Apathetic people. These are the type of individuals who they just simply don't show any interest. They lack enthusiasm. They have no concern. They're not interested. They're indifferent. They're unresponsive. We've all been this way. We've all been this way. There's been subject matter that, eh, I don't really care. I have no interest in that. There's been times where we heard conversations and we were indifferent to the subject matter. Okay. Apathetic people have also been called impassive, phlegmatic, stoic, and stolid. Okay. They're just unresponsive people. Now, it's not a problem to be this way just in general about certain subject matter, you know, interest, things like that. But it does become a problem when people are excessive. They're like this about everything. You talk to them about something and they're unresponsive. You talk to them about another subject and they're still not really acting a bit interested, even though you may detect that mm, this person might be interested. What is happening? What type of mental health issue is going on? They could be depressed. They could have lost all sorts of interests and activities due to the death of a loved one, a job loss, some stress on the home front or at work or somebody who they're talking to, who they're confiding in, is putting something in the atmosphere that's making them not interested in you. This happens in marriages. This happens in friendships. Who are you talking to? Who are you confiding in? Do you have old feelings for? Why is this person putting shade in our relationship? Some individuals, because of this apathy, it has cost them friendships. It's cost them marriages. It's cost them relationships with their parents, with siblings. Why must you act so emotionless? Why do you have to be this person who tends to just not give a bleep about too much of anything? Now, if they don't get the proper treatment to put them in a good place, emotionally, physically, spiritually, what have you, it's going to go on and on and on. And that's when the cutting away and cutting off for some of you all who are dealing with this sort of thing has to take place. I don't know what's happening. Why are you shutting down? Why are you acting uninterested? Why you tend to have this little nastiness about you? But I don't like it. If you think that you can find somebody better if you think that you can you know portion me away or what have you you're doing a good job you see sometimes you got to just call a person out on it you used to act like this but now you're acting like that what's going on is there something that we need to discuss is there something that you know you need to get off your chest is it the new medication <laughs> Because that is something that tends to make people act a bit different, right? She used to be very enthusiastic. She used to have a lot of energy, but now she doesn't. What's happening to her? She's taking that medicine. I know some medicines brought me down over the years. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to continue to take this medicine. If it's not helping me, I definitely don't want it hurting me. You see. Romans 14, 1 through 23. As for the one who is weak in faith, because that person may be weak in faith. They might be an apathetic Christian. They just came to the one true God or they've been a Christian for a long time, but mm, fell off the wagon. And now they're doing all sorts of sinful things. No wonder they're not very enthusiastic about Christ and they're not very interested about being around believers because you fell. 
because you allow sin and worldly uh, entertainment to override who you are in Christ. It's time to get back. It's time to read and study that sh- study that self-approved. It's time to get back around like-minded believers. Cause I mean, you got to recognize these sorts of things. Oh, child of God, when you're fa- when you fallen Romans 14, one through 23, as for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. You see, I said this in another audio when it came to unclean people, acrid odors, all sorts of things going on, unclean environments and so forth. We recognize that somebody has an issue, but we're not going to quarrel over what they believe about themselves. We're not going to quarrel over what they accuse us of of being our personal opinion when facts show okay what we will do is we will respect what they're saying but we will disagree because now what is happening with the apathetic person is it is impacting a relationship it is impacting maybe how they parent children it is impacting their wallet or your wallet they're not caring just spending money, just doing what they want to do, how they want to do it. And you've talked to them about it and you've talked to them about it. And now you've gotten counselors involved and they still don't want to do anything about it. Now you recognize it's a personality disorder and it showed up when mama or daddy, dad, or whatever else, we got an issue here and we need to sit down with a counselor or a third party. Oh, you don't want to do that. Okay. Well then I'm going to have to, unfortunately, plan a future without you. That's how serious it has gotten because I can't deal with this apathy, lack of interest in the conversation, lack of interest in the parenting, lack of interest in the Christian lifestyle. The only thing the person shows interest in is, and you all can fill in the blank. There's a problem, a huge problem. Lord Jesus. Taking the time out to pray. It makes sense, doesn't it? When you're dealing with these sorts of issues. Because some of you all have demonstrated that you may be, let's say, a warrior, a fierce believer. That person may be turned off by that sort of thing. So now you have to stand down a bit. Have your, have your warrior mentality for Christ. Maybe in your household by yourself. I'm sold out for Christ. I'm energetic for Christ. I love the Lord. I want what's best for everybody. Okay. And now. Some individuals are portioned back and they don't like the conversation. So we redirect our conversation to others who will listen, who do want to just celebrate with you. Okay. Apathetic people are not excited at workplaces. You're going to try to get them to be the way you want them to be. Oh, come on now. I need you to be more like this and more like that. And this is why some of them are terminated. Even the Lord, when it comes to apathy, says, because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, this is what he does. I will spit you out of my mouth. That's what he does. God's going to spit me out, out my, out, out of his mouth because I'm acting like this. Yes, he is. Because you've already been forewarned. You've already been told that if you don't have that type of enthusiasm, that type of energy to bring to the organization, we can replace you. If all you want to do is sit up there and do a half, you know what job you can be replaced. And it's hard because sometimes apathy can be confused with I'm just getting older. I get it, but we need an older person with a lot of energy. (laughs) 
because we need to move forward. We need to move the needle. We need somebody who is going to jump up and down. Well, I'm too old to be jumping up and down. Well, we need to replace you. You see? And some folks don't like that. I don't see why they should do that to me. I mean, I got all these years of experience, but you don't have, Lord Jesus, enthusiasm, or you don't act like you're concerned. Young people are very observant. They pay attention. If you act concerned, hey, they're going to be more forthcoming with information. They're going to be more proactive. They're going to do a lot of things. But if you act like you're not concerned, you're unresponsive when they tell you different things. Oh, well. And then you wonder why they don't want to talk to you, don't want to bring information to you. You see. Cold, rigid. There's so many people in this world that show these sorts of attitudes and we don't want them to be the business owners. We really don't. We don't want them to be the managers and the supervisors, the leaders. We don't want them to even be parents. I know that's controversial. Because if you're not going to bring an energy into this world, then don't steal mine. We have gone to the one true God and said, God, I mean, I know how you feel about certain things, but can you please Turn some situations around, cause some people to not have opportunities to bring our enemies down. We've already loved them, but we're tired now, Lord Jesus. We recognize what time we're in. I do have to give a bit of prophecy here that you will see an uprising of apathetic people, unfortunately, in leadership roles nationwide because there is this move of getting some things done where it's an overhaul of workers and they need people who don't act interested, who act unemotional, who act unconcerned about people's feelings. Because when people make serious decisions to take people's jobs, they cannot afford to be emotional. When people make serious decisions to end marriages, they can't afford to be acting crazy. There, there may be finances involved. There may be children. There may be housing they may there may be police officers involved you see so don't mistake a healthy apathy with an unhealthy one we've already covered an unhealthy one is one that's excessive that person is like that all the time mayo clinic defines apathy Normal apathy. No, I'm sorry. Abnormal apathy. Um, as an indicator of an underlying disease. There's something else going on with that person. When feelings become excessive, all consuming and interfere with daily living, we got a problem. This person is feeling indifferent. They're lacking emotion, right? They may be depressed. Now, there is that one who... Once again, he or she is the apathetic person to everyone else in the room, but he is hired or she is hired because we have an overhaul of work that needs to be done, including cutting people's jobs. We hired this person because we plan on doing away with some positions in the next two, five or seven years. We hired this person because we know that this person is not like the previous managers who are going to handhold and they're going to cry with employees and they're going to give customers merchandise or give them merchandise at a heavy discount. We don't want the thieves in the camp. <laughs> 
because you're basically stealing when you're giving away everything you see and you know that that company has a set price so get ready for it because when there's money losses of any kind jobs need to be cut when there's money losses of any kind prices have to be increased and they don't want people who are weak in their establishments okay so apathetic people do have their place But for those individuals who, is there any room for love? Absolutely. Romans 12, 9 through 13 says, let love be genuine. So if you're going to be the one that brings love to the apathetic person, be genuine about it. If you're going to be the one that loves those individuals who act uninterested and unconcerned, then don't beat them over the head about their personality issues their depression whatever they're going through let them go through the process of grief you see while you're bringing them something to drink or something to eat or encouraging them to go out let's get out let's go somewhere let's do something romans 12 9 through 13 let love be genuine abhor what is evil now for that one who they're just mean-spirited they're abusive we get it they're out there emotionally abusive physically abusive and they lack apathy we're going to abhor what is evil that they're doing we hold fast to what is good right so there's maybe one or two things from that abusive person that is good okay we're encouraging the good behavior but there is consequences though to the abusive behaviors so that mean that may mean that somebody moves out or moves away that may mean that someone ends up not getting uh, benefits somebody's birthday's not celebrated somebody's devices is taken away when you're dealing with young folks <laughs> you see if this is how you're going to act teenagers tend to be this way okay because they're going through all sorts of hormonal issues uh, I don't care uh, I don't I don't want that uh, you know but we're still teaching, we're still parenting. I get it, you're going through a process, but you're still going to get the speech and you're still going to be impacted by the consequences if you don't straighten up, sir, ma'am. <laughs> Abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection, not lustful, not, you know, something that's immoral. We love one another with brotherly affection. I'll do one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, but be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints. And we do have needs. Thank you for stopping by, but I always have a need. Marketing this channel is a need. Paying for the uploads. That's a need. Because we use tools. Paying for the images is a need. Paying bills just in general is a need. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. People who are uninterested, unconcerned, what have you, they don't contribute to needs. They're not hospitable people meaning welcoming, right? They're not offering you a drink when you come to their homes. They're not uh, providing a ticket. Oh, I want I, I want you to come see me. Well, a plane tickets cost. I don't have the money for plane tickets. I don't have the money for housing, hotels, food, all of that, gas money. You got to pay people's way if you want them to show up. You see, apathetic people, I don't care. It's on her. Not concerned about your safety. You see, so put that person's name in the prayer box at the church. Put that person's name on your tongue when you're praying to the one true God. 
put that person's name in the Bible. And then we're going to allow the Lord to work on that person who is unconcerned, who is uninterested or people. And if you're trying to get something from them, we're going to pray in Jesus mighty name that they'll finally see the light and that they'll do what needs to be done. And that is what God wants you to have. Because sometimes we are running after apathetic people that God is like, I didn't call you to that apathetic organization or those people in it. And so that is a word for someone. To God be the glory. Thank you as always for taking time out of your busy schedule to listen. You've been listening to YouTube and Enterprise 7. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment. And we do welcome giving blessings to you when you give.